What's going on my dudes? Oscar checking in with an all new video. Today I want to do a why you should read and I haven't done one of these in a while. I think the last one I did was for Fire Punch. I think that was the last why you should read I've done and I've just kind of done other videos just like talking about series in general and like the way I do I like really weird structures for my videos. Like if it's a why you should read, I do, I set it, I set it up kind of like my my let's talk about videos where like I talk first, then I show you panels, and then I talk again, and then the outro, and ever whatever. So I may end up setting this up like that because I had no idea how I was going to set this up. This weekend I was actually going to record a guy game video, but I've decided to not do that. I'm actually going to put that on kind of like an indefinite hiatus doing a guy Gant video and I actually had recorded stuff for a guy Gant video and like I watched it back and really just didn't like it. I'll show you the panel, you know, that I was going to use so that you can tell you an idea of what, what I was doing with it. I scrapped the video. I'm not going to do it right now. Maybe later on, once more of the series comes out and then like I see kind of like where it's headed, I'll do a video about it. But as of right now, I'm kind of just, it's on hold. And instead of doing that, I want to talk about a series that uh, is three volumes deep in English. It's way, way further in Japanese. It might even be finished in Japanese for all I know. But I do want to talk about this and I know you guys will like it as well since you've almost watched watched it like 300 times it's got like almost 300 views so i know you guys have also you guys also enjoy the series so today i want to talk about this and for those who have not read it yet this is a why you should read so i'm going to try to keep spoilers to a min and yeah this is why you should read die dark what can i say that i haven't already said about die dark it is three volumes deep now. Slight spoiler, it takes a while for the story to find its direction. It flounders or does the Seinfeld, a story about nothing thing. The characters run around and get into trouble, but there is no real overarching story about them going to rescue someone like Dorohedoro or finding answers for why they look the way they do. Also, Dorohedoro. I love how much fun this story is. It hasn't hit any super serious moments the way Dorohedoro does. And maybe it isn't meant to. Perhaps it will later on turn dark, as the name suggests. For now, it's wacky and full of adventure with Kyu Hayashida's signature style. She can make the most terrifying things fun and cute, even quirky. There is a character that is literal death called Shimada Death, and this person is cracking jokes and kills with a tap of the finger. She even makes a funny little sound and says die casually as she pokes people to death. Over the course of the story, we do end up with a core group of characters that are our recurring party. Mainly the focus is on 14-year-old Zaha Senko, whose bones are said to grant any wish one desires. Because of this, every bounty hunter, scumbag, conglomerate, and religious zealot wants this kid. Each has their own designs for what they mean to do with his bones, ranging from riches to world domination. Having lived the whole of his life on the run, Zaha has done whatever it takes to survive, along with Avakian, who is his guardian and friend, as well as his backpacker, Paggy, as is known in this world. He goes from place to place and is constantly under attack. Despite the life he has led, Zaha is often chipper. He's full of life and wonder. He's easily distracted and frets not about the small things. So long as he can eat his meat whip sandwich, which is spaghetti in sandwich form, he's jovial as a sun-filled, cloudless afternoon. Any other story told with that background, being on the run, having a special trait, would be miserable. The lead would probably be brooding and troubled, not here. In this story, all that shit is thrown out the window in favor of dozens of jokes. Though there are darker elements, and Zaha does get tortured a bit, before long, he's back to his regular self. We also get random side stories like a whole shopping arc in an outer space Ikea. We get a cooking arc, and we also get an arc about personal hygiene and making sure to keep your linens clean lest you want to get tick men, which are creepy and really disgusting looking. We also meet an immortal type of character named Hajime Damemaru, who at first comes off as sus as hell and kinda holds that up by just continuing to be extremely untrustworthy like the escape king Shidaishi Yoshitake in Golden Kamui. I always look forward to the next volume of this series, as I can't wait to see what sort of shenanigans our characters will get into next. There is a promise of a set villain coming up, curious as to how that will change the story up, and I think now is a good time to get into this series before it's like 20 volumes deep and they become increasingly difficult to get. Die Dark is like nothing you've ever read. 
It is as lovable and irreverent as it is brutal and bloody. Please do yourself a favor and check the series out. I do not for a second believe that anyone who does will regret it. Alright, so I hope that I've created some sort of interest and that you want to that you want to check out the series if you haven't already read it. Yeah, I highly recommend this this series in particular. Uh, this is one of my favorite creators, Kyu Hayashida, and she does an incredible style in her worlds that she creates so far. Like the two that I know of, which are which are uh, Doro He Doro, and she did 23 volumes of Doro He Doro. And that is a, it's a ton of story like that she created for for that series, and it's it's honestly one of my my favorite stories. And I know I talked about it in other videos and said that you know I used to read it at work, and I loved it. You know I just love the the melt the melting pot of ideas, you know that went into Doro He Doro and what it became from where it started to what it becomes and it just gets really dark as it goes on and the story kind of feels like that as well where like it starts really lighthearted, and it looks dark the videos like i mean the the the, the, the picture is like really dark and it's funny because it makes you think that like the story is like really super dark and it's really like lighthearted, and then it kind of like progressively gets darker the story progressively gets darker so i'm assuming like by volume four or five it's going to start to really enter the dark zone like like as is Q Hayashi the style and kind of like it kind of really reminds me of like Datsuki Fujimoto as well where like Chainsaw Man starts off like really light and it's like fun I and mean, it's kind of dark you know don't get me wrong like it starts off and it's kind of dark but it's also like really fun and light and then towards the middle end it's just like holy shit am I fucking reading a shonen story <laughs> like this is brutal but yeah, i love chainsaw man and yeah of course he's the dude that did fire punch so you shouldn't expect anything less from him <laughs> you shouldn't expect anything less than than you know soul crushing despair but i love that kind of stuff because i'm a fucking masochist this this series i love her drawings her artwork her artwork is so it's so rad um, there's there's so many panels that are just like wonderfully drawn and you know to have that that ability to make things that are, you know, essentially still on a page and make them pop and make them feel, feel legit. And like, these are actions that could be taking place and you kind of feel the motion of it. You know, you feel the action of it, even though it's, it's just a page that's, that where nothing is actually happening and you can, you can feel the emotion or the comedy or whatever of the scene and to me that is a true talent to be able to create a scene where where something's happening and even though you know like it's still you you feel you feel the the momentum you feel the emotions whatever of what is being presented to you and that to me is what a great creator those are the emotions that a great creator can evoke even though there's nothing happening and that to me is like why i'm enjoying that's why i'm enjoying urasawa's pluto so much I'm on volume three right now of Pluto. Who knows? Who knows where I'll be by the time this video comes out? Because I'm actually recording this right now, still in January. But you probably won't be seeing this video until like February. Yeah, you're probably not gonna see this video until like February. I'm actually dropping a video. My next video is actually about this series. So yeah, I mean I can talk about it since this is it's already gonna be out by the time this comes out. So yeah, my next video is uh, is Pluto. I'm doing a let's talk about it about Pluto. But I also have. A, a manga video that I'm going to be doing, a color, January, January haul video, and that'll also already be out by the time that this video comes out. I did some edits to the Pluto video, and that's that should be. I'm gonna after I finish recording this, I'm gonna do my voiceover for the panels of that video, and then that will be out next weekend. I actually just yesterday dropped a vinyl journey, which is about uh, Silent Hill, and I just made like. 59 subs which is really cool and i'm grateful for that for everyone that subs to the channel like obviously nobody has to but the fact that anybody bothers to sub you know and they want to see what comes next whatever i do next you know it really means a lot to me and i'm always i'm like i'm always trying to create you know content for this channel i'm always my content brain is always on like what can i do to like add more stuff to the channel and i really did want to talk about the series and i hope that you've read it as well and that you like it if you have read it and that you've collected the volumes either you know physically or digitally or whatever as long as you're consuming it and supporting you know great manga and you know supporting creators that's all that really matters in the end i believe 
And, yeah, I mean, I really don't have much else to say. I really like that there's uh, crossword puzzles at the end of these. And that's really fucking cool to me. I did some of this one because I'm a giant nerd. So I did some of this one. I'm missing, like, three of them. You can kind of see. I'm missing, like, three of them. I think I messed up because it doesn't really... Enemies, like, spelled weird on here. And I think I might have messed up somewhere because I got, like, E-N-E-Y-M. And, you know, maybe I just... Maybe I'm wrong, and <laughs> that's actually how enemy is spelled. Obviously it's not, so I don't know if I goofed or if they goofed in printing this. But anyway, that's all that I have for you today. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I don't want this to be a ridiculously long video. It's looking right now, it's probably going to be 16 minutes, and I'm kind of hoping to condense, get it down to like maybe 13 or 12 minutes. And that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. My name is Oscar. Until next time, please take care of thyselves. How you feel when you sippin' on drippin' the whip? Haters talkin' shit, but I stay rollin' lit Stay holdin' splits, man, I crave poppin' pills Sluggish on the drink, bitch, I'm chuggin' real